following in the wake of the destruction of, of the world with dictators, war, and plumes of war, a ravaging plague has visited the earth. The purple death that leaves only a purple spot on the forehead of its victim. The world's greatest scientists have assembled to combat this mysterious malady. The crowd outside is demanding news, Professor Colton. There's nothing new that I can tell them. Yes, sir. It's coming over. They got through.
Borea, Prince Baron's kingdom. Well, look, there's Prince Baron's palace. Stand by the lamp. Palace as soon as your rocket ship was described. Well, receiving us with strong bows. We must always be on guard against some trick of Ming. Ming. And he is alive. Yes, and rules more ruthlessly than ever. And Dora, is she well? Yes, and very happy. Come on, see for yourself when she returns from the hunt. Professor Zarkov's rocket ship, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. The plunge toward the planet Earth completely out of control. Oh, very good. And the Earth will still be ignorant as to the source of the purple death. That is all. Agenda, what brings you up from my laboratories? To ask your permission, sir, to perform a laboratory test upon these selected prisoners. Your Majesty, I demand to know why I and the thousands of others with me are held prisoners in your filthy concentration camps. Plotted with your queen, Freya, to refuse my demands. You meet the same fate as all those who oppose me. And now, Jendith, what manner of test had you in mind that requires the living subjects for experimentation? In your laboratory, sire, I have perfected the death test. Perfected? It, it is already capable of killing every living creature, of depopulating the universe. That's just it, sire. At present, it kills everything, everybody. Yes? Go on. Wouldn't it be better, sire, if the Purple Death spared those millions of slaves to labor for you and killed only those with intelligence enough to oppose you? You can name your own reward if you can prove this to me. Tonight, sire. Tonight, in the power room, I assure you. I'll be there. You see, my friend, Ming has captured my General Luffy. And I vow to spare nothing until he's rescued. I have an idea, Your Highness. While Zarkov and I are destroying Ming's power rooms, your men could rescue General Luby. But if we should fail, and Ming discovers our plot... Why, he would destroy our Boria, even at the risk of killing his own daughter, Nora. To aid you, my friend, Baron and I will take that chance. But you won't have to if we all go dressed as Fijians. Well, then he would attack Virginia. No. His soldiers would freeze. Only we Phrygians possess the secret of enduring our country's extreme cold. An important reply from Captain Sudan, Your Highness. Captain Sudan is command of Ming's palace guards. However, he is still loyal to me, and I have means of contacting him unknown to me. With the war in my power to help your cause. General Luby to be executed with other prisoners tonight. Faithfully, Captain Sudan. We'll make our final plans on the way. Dale, you stay here with Queen Freya. Bottle. Yes? Captain Broker. Captain Broker? I'd be pleased if you'd accept him as your aide and companion. One of my ablest officers. Thank you, Baron. I'm sure he is. I welcome this chance to help you. I remember that had it not been for what you accomplished on your first trip here, there would be no free man on Mongo. Ha! I had plenty of help, Broker. And I needed it. Well, I'll delay a little longer. Goodbye and a safe return. Thank you, Baron.
should land near the entrance of the abandoned drain tunnel. Our ship can be well concealed there. I remember the place. When the tunnel gates are opened, you will be able to get through the power rooms. In the rays of that special test light inside the cabinet fire, you will be able to see the death dust as it enters the chamber. Mark, bring in the prisoners! Follow me to the tunnel entrance. This man, the flow is in it has a type of mind that is easily controlled by a superior will. And this man has a type of thinking brain that exercises a will of its own. A type we must destroy. Sire, there is no dictator in the universe powerful enough to destroy human thought. Place them in the dust chamber. Count Coro and I will leave you here. Permit ourselves to be arrested by Ming's guards. Good luck. Ready, Your Majesty. You see, Your Majesty, the man of simple intellect is saved. A significant demonstration, don't you think, General Lupi? We'll see now how well it works on a Phrygian nobleman. Mog, place him in the chamber. Probably some trouble in the prison ward, you sire. No. That alarm meant that someone had been captured. They were captured, forcing entrance to the palace, sir. They wear the uniforms of Phrygian soldiers. Phrygian soldiers, huh? Send them directly to me for questioning. Delay the demonstration. Come quickly. You better return to your posts. I'll question the prisoners in private. Fine. So far, so good, Captain Sudan. Prince Baron got your message. I would do anything for Prince Baron. This is Count Coro of Phrygia. A couple of more minutes, and I'm going to search for them. The others are at the mouth of the abandoned tunnel. I understand, Captain, that the gates barricading the tunnel are operated from this control room. Captain Sudan, all right. Go ahead. Now, Captain, how can you aid us in liberating the Phrygian prisoner, General Lupi? Our Imperial Majesty. Two Phrygians, what are they doing here? I have been questioning them, sire. They came at the command of Queen Freya to attempt the rescue of General Lupi. Intelligent looking specimens. Let us put the intelligence of all three to the test. My death dust will decide whether or not they ought to live. Take these two prisoners to the pit room at once. This path is leading to the power room. Ankara, run! At least you're still alive. But not for long, my friends. Gender, hey. I have brought you some new prisoners to experiment with. private laboratory. It is. I was right, Flash. The death dust is a development of the thing Ming was working on when I was here before. You must stay here and destroy this equipment. All right. We'll go on to the power rooms. This is the end. I'm sorry I was the cause of your capture and death. Mog, place them in the dust chamber. Did you mean? Broker, they found them. Throw their guns in that pit. Turn around. Go ahead. You got here just in time, Flash. Count Coral, you and General Rupi get back to the rocket ship right away. 
Duran. Duran, keep them covered. Where's the main power switch? Here it is. Chapter 2. Following the wake of dictators, war, and rumors of war, a ravaging plague, the Purple Death, strikes the earth. Flash Gordon and Professor Zarkoff, believing Ming the Merciless is behind the Purple Death, start with Dale Arden in Zarkoff's rocket ship for Mongo. Arriving in Arborea to enlist aid of Prince Baron, they meet Freya, Queen of the Ice Kingdom, also seeking Baron's aid against Ming. Joining forces, they break into Ming's laboratory in time to halt a fiendish laboratory test. But Flash, pitted against a giant of tremendous strength... can see that don't send out a general alarm impossible sir the intercommunication system was destroyed in the explosion 
Get to the broadcast room, send out word that Dr. Zarkoff and Flash Gordon are at liberty in Mongo. That I am prepared to pay 100,000 Mingos the man who captures them alive. Zarkoff is clever. He struck directly at my laboratory in the energy pit, the source of the death dust. But he failed to completely destroy it, Your Majesty. Yeah, but the damage he did will delay my conquest. Why were the disguises for GMs? Without Dr. Zarkoff and Flash Gordon made a pact with Queen Freya. They to rescue General Luffy in return for the right to mine polarite in Phrygia. Polarite? What's that? Polarite is the only antidote to the death dust. It can be found in only the far, barren, northern waste of Phrygia. Life Garden and Sarkov must not escape. Flash and Sarkov have been trapped in the pit room. We've got to go back. They must have been killed or taken. We'll all be trapped if we wait longer. They risk their lives to get you away from me, General Lupi. We stay here until they come. Flash. Flash! We've got to move fast, men. Is everyone here? All but Ronald. He must have been taken and we can't wait for him. If Ronald's a prisoner, I'm going back. I saw him fall. Ronald! Flash. Flash, I've news that will beat Emperor Ming. I have news that you're here. Save the rest of it. We've got to get out of here. I know the region well from the air. We'd be able to locate the polarite without any difficulty. Because the energy it generates caused the snow to melt above the deposits. Of course, the clothes we wear will be treated with calroid, which will afford complete protection from the cold. Ships are ready, Baron, whenever you are. Good. We'll start at once to dock off rocket ship. The working crew will follow in one of mine. I shall go with you, Flash Gordon. After all, Phrygia is my kingdom. But your majesty's life is too valuable to be placed in this danger. But you are taking Dale Arden. Miss Arden is a chemist, a radio operator, and one of my most valuable assistants. She knows only too well the dangers we may meet. Your life belongs to your people, Your Majesty. I shall pray for your speedy return, my captain. Ming will know of this. Like old times, being at war again with Ming, Zarkov. War is right, but we may expect to encounter Ming's patrol ships at any minute. I'll throw the transparency screen around us until we're ready to land. Captain Torch. Not yet, sir. He will just about have had time to... That's a signal now. Come in, Captain Torch. And we've covered the entire area. There's no sign of the Zarkov expedition. Ask His Imperial Majesty if the search is to be continued. The Emperor is speaking. You have your orders. Zarkov and Fleisch must be captured alive. The others are to be destroyed. Your life most plentiful under that black peak over there. Take this 
polarometer. It would indicate your direction if you find yourself a fault. All right, Doctor. As soon as we locate the stuff, we'll radio you to send the miners. Right. I'm ready, Flash. at this range.
by a hundred yards. Drop the next one on that mountain of snow and ice at the edge of the ridge. Chapter 3. Flash is rescued from the energy pit and escapes with Darkoff from Ming's palace. Ronald, Baron's captain, learns there is an antidote for the Purple Death, a mineral known as polarite, found only in frozen, unlivable Phrygia. Flash and Darkoff promptly lead an expedition into Phrygia, protected against the unlivable cold by a discovery of Darkoff. A Ming ship sent to destroy them sees Flash, Dale, Baron, Roca, and one of the miners climbing a huge mountain searching for the polarite. They drop a bomb. It misses, but starts an avalanche, which... that has carried Flash and the others to destruction. No hope for any of them. No, there isn't. We must blast Ming's men from the sky. the activities of Flash Gordon and his party.
I may be able to get Dr. Zarkov on this radio. Whom do you hope to talk? I must inform Princess Aura of what has happened. Doctor, look. The Ming ship is returning. Have the ship ready to take off at once. Yes, sir. All the workmen in the iron ship. Isn't that a ship taking the air? There's another one still on the ground. Looks like one of ours. They must have stolen it when they left Mongo. We'll destroy them both. Pilot, take care of that ship that just took the air. ship is a mess. Our number two ray cannon has been disabled, sir. They're coming at us from the other side. report what's happened. party immediately. That's fine, Dr. Zarkov. But hurry, we can't hold out much longer. See that the men are thoroughly insulated, or we shall encounter extreme cold. Dr. Zarkov is organizing a rescue party. They'll be here soon. Do you think they'll, they'll ever reach? With Dr. Zarkov leading them? Sure they will. We shoot magnesium torches to everyone. Yes, sir. Do you think they're in that chasm we flew over, Doctor? If they're not, We'll never find them alive.
hear them. Listen, I do hear them. Take it easy, old boy. I have them too. Doc off! Dr. Doc off! Dr. Doc off! I'm sure I heard Flash's voice. Flash! Dr. Doc off down here! I told you! attack upon the world, we cannot start a mine yet. Now why not, Zarkov? What is more important? Your health. I must first be sure that none of you will suffer from exposure. Oh, we fall in good shape, but Baron... That remains to be seen. I want you all to order your cabins and rest for 24 hours. I'll keep you under close observation. Yes, and in the meantime, that Ming ship you drove off will come back prepared to wipe us out. Well, we'll have to face that emergency when it arises. mine enough full right to begin my work of combating Ming's purple death. Let's get some to the ship. Okay, Doctor. From what I've learned, we can control the annihilators from the ship with that instrument. Certainly. We couldn't live exposed to the Fijian atmosphere. Well, how do Flash Gordon and the Earth people manage it? Probably some invention of that genius Zarkov. No wonder Ming wants him alive. <laughs> All right, boys, that's enough. Start loading up. Look, I can see them. They're mining at the base of that hill. Get the Americans ready at one hill. Tyler, land the ship behind that hill, and they won't see us until the explosive iron men are marching against us. I hear the motor of a spaceship. I can't locate the direction. Well, perhaps it's Dr. Zarkov warming up ours. Doesn't sound like our motor. A big ship is just landing beyond that hill. Close to the polarized mine. The mean to attack us. But, Doctor, without your comfort free solution, they couldn't leave the ship and survive. Not unless they have some similar protection. Get as close to them as you can and find out what they're up to. Yes, sir. The analogies are all in line and they work perfectly. I'll march them around the hill to the pit where Flash Gordon and his body are working. I never saw anything like them. They must be from another planet. But they're not human, Dale. They're mechanical. Probably operated by someone we can't see. 
This ray gun ought to stop them. Why, they're invincible. Come on, fellas, we'll stop them. Come back, you fools. You can't fight them. They'll fight you. I may as well show them they haven't got a chance. They're walking bombs. Operated by remote control. Well, they've got them trapped here. Hired men have attacked Flash and the others at the mine. Hired men? You mean robots? Mechanical men? They seem to be. Come on. Flash, I need our help. Back to the wall quickly, everybody. Chapter 4. Emperor Ming, rejoicing in the belief that Flash and his party have been destroyed, intercepts a radio message from Flash to his father, saying he has discovered Polarite, an antidote for the death dust with which Ming is bombarding the Earth. Ming, enraged and knowing his soldiers cannot survive the intense cold of Phrygia, sends Torch against the expedition with an army of mechanical men charged with explosives, which Torch can control and explode from his ship. Deep in the frozen wake, the walking bombs attack the expedition and... Oh, I can't make it. You've got to. It's our only chance. Ming won't forgive another failure. I'll have to forfeit if I don't. We have an escape from Ming when the Earthmen visited Mongo before. Ming won't be as much for Dale alive as he will for Darkov. Careful, don't let the annihilation drop her. Stop Dale. Come back. You'll be blown to atoms. Explode the analysis. Kill the girl? Oh. I've got a trick for two of that. Oh. Got him. Need a large and 
talk. A hundred thousand mingos for you and me. on your way to the palace of Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of them. Pilot, get on the way. Better destroy his Arkham ship first. No, it's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkov and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkov too. They're carrying off Dale and Zarkov. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale? Dr. Zarkov? Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Zarkov more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague. Unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polaroid to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the purple death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. What of it if it keeps up the morale of the crowd? Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the purple death. And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have to. Yes? Your son Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad? Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia. Far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the death dust in the same manner that the human brain reacts upon it. We now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that Ming can turn loose. So, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. It will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it. achievement, son. The world will be waiting to give you and Professor Zarkov the finest welcome in the history of mankind. No, Dad, I'm not coming back. Zarkov's not with me. No, he and Dale were taken prisoners by me. I don't know what's happened to him. Dale, my daughter, at the mercy of Ming. All the rights unloaded. Good. Now we'll start back after Ming. Over You're going to have a job getting into that rocket ship before you freeze to death. Look. 
very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Fly over him. I'll slow him down. No. We'll need that ship to get his name. I'm going to spin it down. Turn on the smoke screen so he'll think we're hit. to be damaged much. accept the terms I offered him and must suffer the consequences. Look. You still have a few moments to reconsider your decision, Dr. Zarkov. The hands of the clock point to the eleventh hour. It will automatically release my destroying ray. my decision, me, and you cannot order it. You're determined to go through with this murder. At least let me join him down there. And lose the bride that I have waited for so long. sacrificing the Earth Man to the destroying ray. We can see from the window that overlooks the arena.
you said flesh. You've been burned to a cinder. I'm setting you free first. He has chosen his own death. Chapter 5. Flash and Roka capture a Ming ship and force its crew to fly them to Ming's palace, hoping to rescue Dale and Zarkov. Disguised as Ming guards, they make their way to the palace corridors. Overhearing a guard saying Zarkov is about to meet death in the arena, Flash races up the stairs leading to the arena and through a window sees Zarkov standing manacled between two stone pillars. As Ming's voice sentences Zarkov and the death ray starts toward the helpless victims, Flash leaps through the window, and... Jimmy, don't fire! Save yourself, Flash. You've been burned to a cinder. I'm setting you free first. He has chosen his own death. I am to 
prepared to offer you your life on certain conditions. And the conditions are? I have a great respect for your scientific knowledge and ability. If you will devote them to my service, you may live. What, as a prisoner? Is not that preferable to death? Yes. If my service will benefit humanity. You will go to my laboratories. There you will meet great scientists from other planets. And you will all work for my conquest of the universe. No one following us now. No. We've got to find the entrance to the cavern. Hurry. That must be the entrance to the cavern. We can use those uniforms. here like you. But I will devote all my energy to breaking Ming's evil power. You must help me. I will. You must know many of the secrets of this place. Together we might undo this man who would be dictator of the universe. Yes, I do know many things. This will make a good disguise. Yes, I was counting on that. A radio phone, huh? Yes. May come in handy. Now let's hide those guards and try and find Dale. I beg your pardon. Where is the earth girl locked up? Why do you ask? We're of the Arctic Guard. We've been sent to question her about the possible whereabouts of her companion. Well, I've been sent to transfer her to other quarters. You may come with me. Thank you, sir. I've come to take you to another room. But first, this guard will question you. Have you any idea where your companions are hiding? No. No, I haven't. Did they receive any information regarding the palace that you know of? No. Here's an order for your relief. Now for a place to hide him. Hide him in there. What about her? Well, she's a prisoner also. You won't give an alarm, will you? No, I won't. Good girl. Now we'd better lock you up too so you can clear yourself. Yes, Now, if we can help Darko. She is to be taken into Dr. Darko. I wish to question each and the other's present. It does not say she should be admitted to the laboratory. Nor does it say she shall not be. It is in order for her to be moved. Where is the matter for my discretion? You here. You'll have to ask my escort. Flash! How did you do it? It's a long story, Darko. What about him? He's a friend. He will become an ally. But tell me about the polar wreck. I landed our shipload on Earth. Thank Providence for that. Now come on, let's get out of here. No. You're not going? No. We could only hide in the caverns. I can do far more here to assure our eventual departure. With the aid of calm here. I hope to be able to counteract some of Ming's defensive mechanism. That will lay him open to attack and aid our cause. But if you're determined to stay, we can keep in contact with this radio phone. Yeah, I like to retain its wavelength. There, Flash. I've set it in a very low wavelength. And I'm making another radio like it. Good. Then we can keep in touch. What's this girl doing here? Orders from Ming, sire. Orders from Ming. Guard, arrest this man. This will bring me a promotion. Hold him here till I get Captain Torch. 
He flashed Gordon, our most dangerous enemy. If he's so dangerous, I'll shoot him down right now. No. You must let Captain Torch take him to Ming alive. Hold him here. I'll hold him. Nice work, Roker. We must hurry and get out of here. All right, we'll go down to the cabin and keep in touch with you. You mean Flash Gordon? You know I do. Where are they? I'm sure I don't know. He's lying. They were both here. Where's the guard I left? He went out. There's evidently a conspiracy here. I shall report this matter to the Emperor Ming. So you let Flash Gordon escape you again? Song reported he was in the laboratory, sire. But when I got there... Silence! Inform all guards the reward for the capture of Day Lord and Alive is double. Place Gordon must be taken too, but not necessarily alive. It shall be done, sir. It had better be. Your life is forfeit if these guards fail again. Hello, hello, Flash. It's the fleet of Baron Sis. Coming this way. Oh, good old Baron. I knew he wouldn't fail. Tell them that now is their chance. All the defense mechanisms of space courts will be switched off as the guards are being reinforced. Hello, Flash. Go to the space court and find the main ship you can. But Dr. Zarkov, I tell you, we're not going without you. You go with them. No need for both of us to stay. We'll communicate by radio call. But how can I get out of here? Long ago, I prepared a disguise for my own escape. You may have it. Hello, hello, Flash. I'll meet you at the space court. Good. He's coming with us. Hurry. Gordon may try to escape in this ship. He came here, huh? They'll figure it's his best chance to escape. I hope he does. That your fire chemical works. It will. That'll be the end of Flash Gordon. to leave ground without special orders. That's what you think.
ships approaching. I hope Baron is one of them. The main ship immediately a beam. Both within destroy it. We'll attack this side. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. Don't forget this is the main ship. Better try to get him on the radio before he attacks us. Hurry. Hello. Hello, Prince Baron? Prince Baron. The radio is dead. Noted and approved. Use your destructor ray. We're heading in at once. Baron is closing in. Sarkov, we've got to signal him somehow. He'll shoot us down. They're spreading out. They're trapped us between them. Open on them. Chapter 6. Flash and Roca, after escaping from the arena, and while frantic search was being made for them, ambushed two guards and disguised in their uniforms, returned to Ming's palace and rescued Dale and Zarkov. After a further encounter with guards and a hazardous mid-air rescue of Roca from a burning ship, Flash and his party are congratulating themselves on escaping in one of Ming's ships, when suddenly an approaching Baron ship opens fire on them. Flash, realizing Baron is mistaking them for his enemy Ming, tries desperately to signal Baron ship, but... Then you are dead. Position noted and approved. Use your destructor ray. We're heading in at once. Baron is closing in. Starkov, we've got to signal him somehow. He'll shoot us down. They're spreading out. They're trapped us between us. Transfer. I'll answer the rocketing 
that fashion six sultronillium projectiles. All work yet to be done in complete vacuum, sire. The smallest amount of oxygen touching that metal would have ignited it and burned it alive. Your Majesty means to attack the Earth at once? No, we will first test the projectiles on Prince Baron's kingdom of Aborea. Aborea, sire? The Aborean forests are the source of all the fine timber in Mongol. One projectile yes, dropped yes, there. Yes, 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 I understand, I understand. The projectile will only be dropped in the barren sections of Aborea. The Prince will have warning to watch their effect and contemplate what will happen in case I direct them against his palace. Your pardon, sire, but surely you don't mean to destroy Avoria. Why, the Princess Laura, your daughter is there, and... My erring daughter deserves no consideration. However, I suppose she must be removed. You're keeping secret communications with my daughter's attendant, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire, by means of the verse. Good. I'll give you a message for her. We should have come, Sonia. You know, Prince Baron and his friends are on a dangerous mission. I think I should have stayed at the castle. <laughs> Your Highness becomes too domesticated. If men will go and fight, there's no reason why we should mope at home. demonstration of the means at my command to punish your allegiance to my enemies, the Earthmen. When you see your wastelands burn, think what will happen to your castle and your forest. He means to use Zotronillium, the fire metal against Arborea. How long before you can complete your defense, Doctor? Well, thanks to the years spent by Professor Carm in developing his contra-thermal defense theory, I can complete the machine to dispense it in a day, perhaps two. At least two. There'll be enough time, Doctor. I know my crafty father-in-law. He's bluffing. He wouldn't dare attack our boy while his daughter is here. Prince Baron! Your Highness! The Princess Laura has just been abducted by soldiers of Ming. The Lady Sonia led us into an ambush. I did what I could. Uh, my position at once. Go ahead with the cut thermal machine, Doctor. 
Don't worry, Baron. We'll help you and Nora out of this mess. Somehow. I demand to know why I am being held prisoner. When you and your husband, Prince Baron, chose to ally yourself with the Earthmen, you became my enemy and must take the consequences. You dare to tamper with my attendants, to send this slinking cat Sonia to worm her way into my confidence. And you, Captain Torch, you bloody-handed murderer, to lay hands upon royalty. Mark my words, you two shall pay for this when Prince Baron and Clash Gordon... Yes, Altair. We have intercepted a radio message from Prince Baron to his patrol ship. Yes? All patrol ships. The Emperor Ming is about to attempt destruction of Arborea by means of fiery projectiles. Dr. Zorkov has devised means of counteracting this murderous attack. Inform me at once location of any of these projectiles, and steps will be taken to extinguish fire. Signed, Baron. There's the answer to your threat. The Earth men have beaten you once. They'll beat you again. Take her to the women's quarters. Sonia, Torch. Sire. Your Majesty. You have done well and will be rewarded. But I have another task for you. We are ready, sir. Whatever means Zarkov has of extinguishing our projectors must be carried to the spot of conflagration. Information as to location must come from Baron's laboratory. Now you are to proceed at once to Arborio, destroy Prince Baron's radio station, thus preventing these messages from being sent. It shall be done, sir. Flash, and get this clear. For all our lives may depend upon it. You know I've got to sit here and direct you where the projectiles fall. Go ahead, Doc. By turning this dial, you will envelop your ship with contrathermal waves that will protect you from the extreme heat. I see. One of these units must be placed by you close to Ming's projectile when it falls. Dale understands how to protect you while you accomplish this. Ronald will run the ship. Thank you, sir. We'll go and get ready, Doctor. All right, men. Get these instruments down to the ship. Gordon calling Prince Baron. It's probable Ming is aware of what we're doing and will attempt to prevent us sending word to Flash. I have anticipated that, Your Highness. Patrol ships are in the vicinity and will attack any Ming ship that approaches. Back Gordon calling Prince Baron. Back Gordon calling Prince Baron. Yes, Flash? We're over the courtroom wakeland, Baron. Ready for action. No sign of enemy activity. Maintain your present circuit. Dr. Zarkov will give you the exact information the moment the projectile strikes. Good. We'll be ready. Prepare the first projectile. is ready to be fired, Your Majesty. Has the range been calculated? Yes, sir. The dial readings are 16, 44, 336. We'll alter the range every 20 minutes. determination to conquer the universe. Oh, that is terrible. Ming's first messenger of death 
Locate the exact point where it's there. I'll get flash. Yes, Doctor, we saw it and fell it fast. I got it. 30 miles due west from here. First projectile, 30 miles due west from here. Change your course accordingly. Yes. I'll get the fire suit. Wastelands with no badges. Unless that blaze is extinguished, it will burn up all the oxygen in the air. Stifle thousands of people, Ronald. I must go. I know you can do it, Flash. Good girl.
overloaded and burnt out of connection. Flash Gordon. Hello, Zarkov. Your contrathermal is a success, sir. We've extinguished the projectile. Let us know where any more of the projectiles fall. It works perfectly. We still have two more units. That's splendid, Flash. Two more projectiles have fallen. The locations are two. The connection's gone. Zarkov! Your Highness. A Ming bomber is over the ballast. The crows will take care of it. They've been warned. I'll have this repaired in a moment, Your Highness. That bomber doesn't score another bullseye. You made a direct hit zone, close to the wall of the laboratory. I can see the flash when the bomb struck. There's one of our own ships coming. Two more coming in from above. Surroundings! Zarkov speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead, Doctor. One of Ming's ships have bombed us. The patrols have driven it off. Good. Now tell us where those projectiles have fallen. One of the projectiles fell about 30 miles west of... We're going to crash! I want to make it look like a crash so they won't follow us down. They clear hit, Branch. The last shot finished them. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Enemy ship met and destroyed. That is all. Tom, get our location. This is the palace of the Emperor. This is Captain Torch speaking from Avoria. This is of vital importance. Wait, Captain Torch. Inform His Majesty that Captain Torch is calling from Arboria. My plan is failing. Projectiles are being extinguished as soon as they strike. Your Majesty must remember that Dr. Zarko is a prince there. The doctor is a clever man. He may have discovered some means of defense against The counteracting force is known only to myself. A new cause, 
you knew when you were alone in my laboratory with Dr. Zarkov before he escaped. If you have dared betrayed any of my secrets to him, I'll... Captain Torch is calling from Arborea, Majesty. Get Arborea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We found Prince Baron's power plant. We were attacked and forced to land. You have failed. Sarkov is extinguishing our projectiles as fast as they land. But Your Majesty, we dropped the bombs direct. Get into Prince Baron's castle by any way that you can devise. Learn what the plans are and report to me. The lives of all of you are staked upon this venture. There's no need of all of us going. The ship has to be repaired before we can make our escape. That's right. I can repair the damage while you go to the castle. And you believe this instrument would be effective in an attack upon me? Unquestionably. The difficulty is that in launching its neutralizing cartridge, the gun destroys itself. And the explosion releases a poisonous gas that would destroy all life over a wide area. Oh, but of course, it would have to be operated by a fuse. Well, if the gun will do what you claim for it, we'll overcome the objection. How, Baron? There's a desolate stretch of uninhabited land to the west of Ming's capital called the Land of the Dead, to which we might transport the gun and direct it upon the castle. Your Highness's pardon, but would not such a course endanger the life of the Princess Aura? Thanks for considering the safety of the Princess Rokov, but she's not in immediate danger. Sarkov's instrument, as he explained it, has a powerful magnetic action designed to paralyze Ming's power plant so as to render his ships and guns useless. Fire! Fire! I just caught part of a message from Ming on this shortwave set. From Ming? Well, I'm sure it was the voice of Ming, but I caught only a few words. He said, the lives of all of you are staked upon this venture. I waited, but he said nothing more. Do you think it means that we're to be attacked? Oh, you. Of course, but I can hold his attention for a moment. All right. Keep his back to me. It's necessary that I have audience with Prince Baron at once. I will explain everything to his highness. Let me... You go with my prisoner? Yes, the prince will see you. If I'm not mistaken, you'll have you hanged from the highest turret for the abduction of Princess Aura. <laughs> planning an attack, our best defense is to beat him to the punch. If we can place the neutralizer in the land of the dead now, at once. Ming must be keeping a strict guard over Aura, or she would have communicated with us before now. I'll have a ship made ready for the journey. There's something about this gun destroying itself that I don't understand. The Emperor will be unable to put his spaceships into the air, nor to maintain contact with those already there. His water supply will be in danger. Clap your hands! Both of them. What does this mean? You shall be reported. Just a moment, Professor. This is Captain Torch. You have good eyes, Roker. Now stand aside while I destroy that deadly machine. No, no, you shall not destroy it. Suit yourself. You first, and then the machine. wishes to see me? Will not stand on ceremony, Father. I demand my instant release and return to Prince Baron's domain. Since Baron entertains my enemies, the Earthmen, he too becomes my enemy and you a hostage. Unless you release me at once, Father. Flash Gordon and Dr. Zarkov will return here and pull you from your throne as they did once before. As they did once before. Yet I still survive, still rule the universe while they... Yes, while they... ...are at this moment headed for certain destruction and a trap that I have prepared for them. The audience is at an end, Your Highness. Flash, we're not endangering all of by turning this machine against Ming's palace, are we? Oh, why, no, Dale. You see, its purpose is to generate a magnetic influence that will paralyze Ming's power plants and weapons of defense, making it impossible for him to defend himself against an attack. What, what will happen to us in this land of the dead that we're heading for? I've never been there, but I heard tales that at one time it was inhabited by a race of rockmen that long ago passed into oblivion. Look! A big ship! 
Ready with the stern rocket gun. Quickly. I think we can beat them off. No, Flash. We dare not risk being hit. The fate of our bore is in our hands. We'll go into our disappearing screen. Make a long circuit approaching the land of the dead from the other side. They're gone, sir. One of Zarkov's disappearing acts again. Take the controls, Tom. Captain Torch calling Emperor Ming. Captain Torch calling Emperor Ming. All right, Torch. You know their destination. Your speed ship will get you to the land of the dead before them. When they come, destroy their ship. Plant your plastic mine in the vicinity of giant Dome Rock. It is the only place that Zarkov can direct his new weapon at my palace. It shall be done, Your Majesty. down one of those narrow cuts where we'll not be visible when Baron's ship arrives. Careful. We've got enough sin tonight there to shatter a continent. We've got to lay this mine and be well under the air before Prince Baron's expedition arrives. Better place a guard to warn us in case they get here before we're ready to clear out. I'll watch for their ship from that ledge. Giant's dome rocks. Set the ship down as soon as you can. Yes. One of Ming's latest developments. When the ray reaches number five, her blast goes off. Zarkov's military arms uses. All right, men. Cover it up. That's enough. We'll find Sonia and get to the ship. Devils are these. Not as bad as the one we planted. Get us out of here quick. We'll all be pulled out of here. 
We won't have any trouble getting our equipment in here. Now they might find a timer and stop the explosion. Chapter 8, Ming's attack on Baron's kingdom prompts Zarkov to perfect an N-ray to be discharged from a powerful Nulitrian to neutralize and render useless Ming's power plant. Baron tells Flash the Nulitrian can best be directed against Ming's palace from the Devil's Dome in the Land of the Dead. Ming learns of their plans, and his soldiers plant a powerful time bomb on the Devil's Dome, but are promptly captured by Rockmen. Flash and his party land unaware of the bomb and the rockmen who are watching them. And... Look, the Earthmen, they're right near where we laid the mine. This is the place. It isn't so far from the ship. And there are plenty of caves to take shelter in. We won't have any trouble getting our equipment in here. Take him someplace for burial, perhaps. Why 
what's this all about? Maybe some kind of a ceremony. Yes, that's to see if they're dead. trying to say he wants to know who we are and where we came from what language is it it's an ancient language spoken by the lost tribes that once inhabited the gobi desert on earth we're going to be taken to the king so why are we prisoners Darko? i think they're blaming us for that explosion we shouldn't be held responsible for that Mark, why do you from the monster if it doesn't see us. All it in the Guanbian. Even the blast of its breath is deadly poison. He says the reason they dress like rocks is to protect themselves against these monsters. Place the land of the dead. What do you want? What are they saying? It seems they're blaming us for the disappearance of the king's son. But they can't do that. We have nothing. The king's son has failed to return since the explosion, which apparently caused a serious earthquake and did a lot of damage. But suppose his son doesn't show up. In that case, our lives will be forfeit. Oh, well, but that's not right. Torch caused the explosion. You better try and make that clear to them, Zaka. under guard and the search is over. Search? What search? The search to find the Rock King's missing son. Remember? That's what all the trouble is about. That's right. I remember now. You know, it's funny. None of us suspected this part of Mongo was inhabited. Where do these people originate from? 
I can only account for them as being descended from the original race, which thousands of years ago inhabited numerous planets on the solar system. They're primitive, all right. Yeah. They have no science. Think there's a chance to smash through? Not by force alone. We'll have to work out some other plan. the activities of Flesh, Gordon, and Dr. Zarko. I have been trying to do so, sire. And be prepared in case Torch failed to stop them. Yes? I'll take that instrument, if you please. Give it to me. What instrument? A shortwave radio you were trying to call your friend the emergency upon. Why, you... <laughs> we can find out what this is all about. Calling the emergency at Ming's Palace. Neil Arden calling the emergency. Flash Gordon and Professor Zarko want to thank you for your valuable assistance in fighting Ming. But we're in serious trouble and need help. This is urgent. We need help. Answer, please. Help. So, Zarkov learned all my secrets from you. You traitor. Why shouldn't I be a traitor to you? After the way you've treated my people, lock him up. I have decided the manner in which he is to die. Take him away. No, you better let me do it. You two will know better how to get help when you do get out of here. All right. I wouldn't let you do it if we didn't think it'd work. Try and find Ronald and Prince Baron. Yes, if we can locate the ship. It should be somewhere in that direction. Where's Flash and Professor Zarko? We tricked the guards. They've gone for help. And there's a chance for us. I certainly hope so. Yeah, they we play with. a strong gravity pull from the left of us? Yes. It's like some powerful magnetic force. Yeah! Oh! Oh! What is that? I don't 
know. Let's find out. That magnetic pull is getting stronger than ever. Then it's true. This part of Mongo is made up of highly magnetized particles. An explosion opened the ground and exposed the roadstone. Gotta save him, Zarkov. It's the only way to make the king call off the execution. Look, that lodestone is balanced on the slender pinnacle. If I could get one of those big rocks above started, it would knock the lodestone into the depths of the planet. Too dangerous. That's the only chance to save Dale and the others. Zarkov, go on back to the cave. Tell the king we found his son. Good luck, Flash. Good luck. Chapter 9. The land of the dead inhabited by rockmen becomes the battleground of a scientific war against Ming. Flash and his party are captured by the rockmen, who also capture Ming's soldiers. The rock king condemns all to death, blaming them for the disappearance of his son. Flash and Zarkov escape by a clever ruse and discover the rock prince helpless 
in the grip of the powerful lodestone. Flash attempts his rescue while Zarkov hurries to the Rock King. But... You got the print stone from that ledge. That rock I shoved into the pit. It dislodged the lodestone and broke the magnetic field. We must get him back to us father at once. Uh, I only hope we're in time to save the others. Look, Zarkov, you go on ahead. Tell them I found him. I'll bring him in. just beyond those rocks for two minutes. Well, can we use it to get away? Anna? We've got to. Any sign of Flash or the others? No, Prince Barrett. Careful now. We'll surprise him. There they 
are. Court? Sonia and Song from Mongo. Perhaps they need to take our ship. Well, we can prevent that. But me was sworn flash if he's near enough to hear. You? I can't help it. That horrible Iguantian scared me. That's your alarm on our rocket ship. Well, they're in trouble. Come on, we can't stay here. He says he knows a shorter way to get around the other side and stop them. All right, time to go ahead. We'll go this way. Coach, we can't go any further. Then we'll have to make a stand here. Walker. Just lucky, I guess. Fell on top. What about Bone? He's all right, just unconscious. Sarkov, thank the prince for his help. Tell him we're all square now. He'll understand. Now they're all bad. Pedro is dead. We'll return him to his people. Then we must leave this country. Will we go direct to Arboria? We won't discuss our plans in front of our friends here. I suppose we'll have to take them with us. Yes. And Fong, too. Well, Flash, perhaps Ming might exchange Princess Aura for them. Yes, he might. Come on. What is your plan to rescue Princess Aura? Well, it's a risky one at best and may not succeed. So I'll not ask you to endanger yourself. You don't have to ask it. We're all in this together. Thank you. Huh? Are your orders? We'll attempt to enter the dungeon caverns under the tavern. Captain Sue, the Ming guard, is still loyal to me. And with his aid, I hope to find my wife and rescue her. Perhaps we can get in touch with him over this radio phone Zarkov made. Carm has one like it. He's probably waiting for a message from us. I'll try. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Hello? Hello? The only chance to communicate with Flash and the others is by that radio phone. Where is it? It was left in the laboratory where they arrested me. Oh, Captain Sweeney knows where. Behind that meter set in the old hiding place. I can get it from the laboratory if Captain Susan will help me. I will, Your Highness. Oh, then do so. 
It's long past the time that Flash promised to call me. Flash Gordon calling emergency. That's something that's happened to Carmen. I trust not. Keep calling him the chance he'll answer. Hello? We found it. Yes, Flash. This is emergency. Listen carefully. They've made me a prisoner, but Captain Sutton is helping me. Good. Tell it. Can you get a message to Princess Aura? She's here now. What do you wish to tell her? I'll let Baron do it. Get Baron. Oh, my dear. Are you all right? Yes, darling. I'm all right. Good. Tonight we'll take you away. Let me speak to the captain. Captain? We we'll land near the dungeon cabins at midnight. Can you open the gates for us? Yes, Your Highness. I will be on duty in the control room. Make certain you do not fail. And have available such members of the guard as you can trust. I will, sire. But we must go now. It is not safe to talk longer. Dale, you stay here and help Ronald guard the prisoners. It's about time those gates were opening. Student will do his part if he can. Suppose he can't. Coming this way. But perhaps Captain Zoom sent them. No, no, they're not of our party. If they ever see us, I'll give an alarm. We'll jump up when they come through that arch. Hide. You wanted them captured alive. Or are you going to obey?
Chapter 10. Emperor Ming is holding his daughter, Princess Aura, as a hostage in his war against Prince Baron, Flash Gordon, and Dr. Zarkov. Leaving the land of the dead and with Torch, Sonia, and Thong prisoners, Flash and his friends accompany Baron in his ship to Ming's palace in a daring attempt to rescue the princess. Through the cooperation of Captain Sudan of Ming's guard, they enter the tunnels beneath the palace. But they are attacked by a party of Ming's guards who sound an alarm and... What has happened? Their presence has been discovered. What can we do? Nothing but hope for the best. I still may be... What's the meaning of this alarm? I do not know, Your Majesty. It startled me. It's your duty to find out. Good. They're all there, all except Dale Arden, caught like rats in a trap. Open the flood control valve. But Your Majesty, you wanted them captured alive. Or are you going to obey? Tell Princess Aura about this interesting event. Hey. There's still a chance to save them. We must will divert the water away from the bottomless pit, down to the lower sluice gate into the ravine. That's done it. They were swept out through the side tunnel. Now they at least have a chance for their lives. Close it quickly. If Ming hears of this, we may meet a horrible death. We've got to get out of here before Ming discovers this trap has failed. The ship is beyond that ridge. Terry broke up. Aura. You didn't find her. No, we failed. Darkoff needs attention right away. Ronald, we've got to get away from here as quickly and quietly as we can. Ming doesn't know we're escaping. Hurry! Clever device, Kong. But it'll be of no further use to you. Your friends, Flash Garden and Dr. Zarkov, were killed in an attempted attack upon my castle. And Baron, my husband. It is unfortunate that your husband chose to join the cause of my enemies. It is also unfortunate that I had to die before ridding the universe of your evil presence and placing the Princess Aura upon the throne. My daughter is no longer a princess. She is merely a prisoner of war. Do you hope to save your life for this bravado? No, me. I only hope to get close enough to put my hands on your throat! Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. <coughs> Too bad. Arm was a clever scientist. Take him away. Someone calling on Carm's radio. My husband! He's calling Carm. Can you imitate Carm's voice? I can try, Your Majesty. Yeah. Are you alone? Doctor, speak to you. Oh, they're alive. They're alive. Take her to the women's quarters. Oh, no. This is Carm. They failed to find my radio phone. I thought you and your people were drowned in the flooded cavern. Americans diverted the flood waters through a side tunnel into the ravine. The 
miracle was my daughter. A very clever girl, but she shall be punished. Calm. Let us know when Ming means to attack, and in what manner. Ask him about Princess Aura. The Princess Aura is safe and well. The Emperor believes you were all destroyed by the flood. He contemplates no other attack upon our body at present. I will know and give you plenty of warning if danger threatens. That's good news, Baron. It gives you time to call in your patrols and prepare the ships for defense. For attack, rather. I mean to take Princess Aura out of Ming's hands at any cost. I'll tell Flash. He and Dale are down at the cell. Well, you'd better come clean, Torch. How many ships has Ming got ready for immediate action? Just why should I tell you anything? Prince Baron would give a good deal for aid in bringing the princess home safely. Why not get help from your friend Kong? He's on the ground. It's too bad Tong escaped. He'd have talked. How did that happen? Well, he pretended to be wounded worse than he was. The guards didn't watch him. We'll try Sonia. Maybe she'll think more of her neck. Sonia, we're going to give you a chance for your life. We want you to turn her away, Earth Man. You and I understand each other. Oh, I do. Release me, Flash Garden, and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to have to talk first. And then I'll see what I can do about getting you out. Remember, you're Prince Baron's prisoner, not mine. Prince Baron, bah. He's as good as putty in your hands and will do anything you bid him. Set me free and I'll show you how to overthrow both Prince Baron and Emperor Ming. Then you and I, Earthman, will rule the universe. Flash. What is it, Broken? Dr. Zarkov wants to see you. He's been talking with Karm by radio, and he says there's no danger of an attack by Ming for some time. Oh, good. Thank you, Broken. Better watch that woman. She'll try to trick you. Thank you, sir. She's already tried. all this about a message from Carm. He said that... Now, wait a minute, Sarkoff. I want his exact words. How did he begin? Exact words? I don't know. Roker talked to him first. He made the connection, then handed me the radio. Well, Roker, he said, this is Carm. I'm alone in the laboratory. And it wasn't Carm who was speaking. Not to Carm! You mean he said Princess Aura was safe? It couldn't have been Carm. You see, we had arranged code words to avoid that sort of trick. If it had been Carm, he would have begun with the words, listen carefully. But it was Carm's voice. He said that Ming believed us dead. Dead. And he knows we're alive. No doubt he's planning for immediate attack after sending that fake message of reassurance. Then I must instruct the outer patrol to be on the alert. Yes, Gordon? 
I have reason to believe that Ming plans to attack at once. Warn all ships to be on the alert. Tell them to report immediately. Any spaceship, whatever mark. The order will go out immediately, sir. Thank you. Calling all spaceships. Calling all spaceships. General order number 83. General order number 83. <laughs> Watch that door. Calling Emperor Ming. Calling the palace of Emperor Ming. This is Captain Torch speaking. I've got momentary control of Barron's radio room. What are your orders, sire? I will send gas bombers to attack Barron's palace at once. See if you can call in Barron's patrol ships, so there will be no warning of the attack. Shall be done, sire. Watch that door closely while I call in Barron's patrols. Calling all patrols. These are general orders from Prince Barron. All ships that are committed once and ground for repairs. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Barron. We're heading in at once. How long will it take Ming's fleet to get here? Not long. If I can clear the patrols out of their way. on your cell. Yes. I just like to get my hands on it. Well, she's gone. Something's happened to the guard. He's dead. Killed by a ray gun. Get flash and call the guards. I'll send an alarm from the radio room. What are you doing? I'm going to break communication with Baron's ships, so they can't countermand my orders. And you think Ming intends to attack? I'm so sure of it that I took the liberty of broadcasting an order to your patrol ship, Your Highness. Torch and Sony have escaped. Escaped? Impossible. Scatter and search. This little job will prevent anyone from rescinding the order to call in the patrols. Why, you little... Door, Gordon, I'll pull the trigger. Move, quick! Don't let him get away, Flash. He's calling the patrol. The Ming's about to attack. Turn the alarm, quickly! Chance torch can blast you. Really. Never mind. Follow him, but don't crowd them. He'll kill Dale. I'll hit them off from the outside. Thank you. 
Chapter 11. Torch and Sonia, Ming's agents, confined in prison cells in Baron's palace, escape to the radio room, overpower the operator, and communicate with Ming. Ming instructs Torch to send out a false order grounding Baron's spaceship in order to clear the way for the Ming bombers and to then destroy the radio to prevent Baron countermanding the order. Dale overhears the order and is captured by Torch and Sonia, who flee with her to the roof of the palace. Flash pursues and corners them and is battling with Torch when Ming's bombers... The ship shot down and the others driven off. Never mind that. And there are no reports on Flash and Dale. The search of the castle and grounds is continuing. Flash! Thank heaven you're safe. Dale and Ronald are gone. Have you seen them? Torch here had Dale prisoner when I grabbed him. If anything has happened to her... You better not, Gordon. One of Ming's ships landed while we were in the moat. If Ming has her, you might need me as hostage. Rocca, lock him up. Operator, see if you can contact the palace. Wait a moment. He is Dale and Ronald prisoner. Perhaps he'll make the first move. Welcome, Thong and Lady Sonia. I understand you bring us prisoners of importance. Thank you, Your Majesty. Dale Arden and Captain Ronald have been confined in separate apartments and await your majesty's pleasure. Please leave us now. I have things to say to these two alone. I am ill-served, it seems. Sire. Two of my best ships and crews destroyed. Captain Torch, my ablest soldier and counselor, you have left in the hands of my enemies. Your Majesty has many ships and soldiers, but there's only one Dale Arden. No doubt Prince Baron would be glad to exchange Captain Torch for her. What do you mean? Your captain or your bride, sire? Bring Dale Arden to me at once. <laughs> no trace of any of them. But we verified the report that one of Ming's ships did actually land at the castle during the gas raid. That settles it. I'm going after Ming. I'll go with you. Will your highness caution our guard to watch the prisoner torch very closely? The Empress Palace calling. Ming will speak to 
your servant, Prince Baron, over the televisor. Prince Baron will speak to Ming, the tyrant. Uh, Baron, I see you have your allies with you. That makes it simpler. One of my ships just brought in a couple of prisoners, Dale Arden and a Captain Rana. Let me talk to him. Listen, Ming. If you harm Dale Arden, I'll come there and kill you with my bare hands. I am not interested or disturbed by the ravings of a madman. Dale has not been harmed. She will tell you so herself. Step here, my child. Flash. Get me out of here. Get me out. Dale. Dale, listen to me. Don't be afraid. We'll get you out somehow. Now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov. I may exchange this young lady for my Captain Torch. And what terms do you propose to make me? Not even exchange. Or better than that, I'll toss in Captain Ronald, who is of no importance to me. It's a trick. He'll lay a trap for us. And how do you propose to make the exchange? As your friend Flash is suspicious, I will agree to any arrangements you make. But you must decide now. I'll not renew the offer. Oh, agree, Doctor. Flash, get me out of here. Get me out. He can't trick us if we arrange the terms. In any event, we have no choice. All right, all right. Make a deal, make a deal. We will make the exchange on the following terms. Flash, Gordon, and I will bring Captain Torch. Prepare a ship for at once. Shall be done, sire. Sanjan, be sure Dale has refreshments prepared for her before she leaves. Goodbye, my dear. I am sure we will meet again. Me loose. We let you go and we're sure Dale and Ronald are safe. Are you satisfied? Yes. Your friend Tong will untie you. A message from the Emperor to Dr. Zarko. Start walking. Oh, Flash. Flash, let's... Quick, inside. Oh. Dale, what is it? Zarkov, quickly! She's been drugged. Ming, that devil. Wait. I was given this for you, Doctor, as I left the ship. Darkoff, you have no antidote that will revive Dale. Our only chance to live is that you alone bring her to me at once. Delay will be fatal. Think he's telling the truth? Yes, Flash. She's dying. I must take her back to Ming's. I'll drop you and Roland Barons before I go. I'll see what can be done about contriving an escape. We 
must find a way of getting into Ming's palace without endangering the lives of the princess or the prisoners. Then once inside, with the help of Zarkov and Captain Sue... There's an abandoned tunnel. Not the one we were trapped in before. No, this is on the other side of the palace. It leads into the tombs directly beneath the caverns. That is the way it's clear. If it isn't, we'll clear it. Zarkov's rocket ship is serviced and ready. We are ready, Your Highness. Oh, no, Ron. Numbers won't help us on this trip. Three might succeed where more would fail. You wait for word from us. You did well to obey me and bring Dale here, Zarkov. Only I could have awakened her from the death sleep into which I had cast her. I'm taking you to my daughter, Princess Ora. And as for you, Zarkov, any attempt to escape will result disastrously both for you and Dale. It's all right, Dale. We're to be the guests of the Emperor for a short time. Come, my dear. Landing, Flash. We're right near the tunnel entrance. I hope Captain Sutton has been able to leave it unguarded. Have you received instructions about preparing the Earth Girl for her wedding, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire. Is it your Majesty's wish that I go to her tonight? No. Tomorrow will be time enough. Clearly finished me. Sorry, Crow, but our mission's a desperate one. What about your companion here? He's one of us. Sutton places her to help you if he came. If you can, get us into the tunnel. Tell us where the princess and Dale Arden are locked up. They're in Ming's private sanctum, the north room. I can guide you there. No, you're taking risk enough. I know the way. Let's have a uniform so we look as if we had an official escort if we meet anyone. All right, Your Highness. Inside, quickly. Right. Wind in the crevices is higher up. Well, it doesn't sound like wind to me. Sounds like... Look. We're in these ancient dungeons. Come on, we'll have worse than that to face. This leads to the corridors of the North Wing. Crowd had no key for it.
Chapter 12. Ming's air attack on Baron's palace is beaten off and Torch recaptured by Flash Gordon. But the escaping enemy ships carry off Dale Orton. Darkoff is tricked into Ming's power, and with Dale and Princess R already his prisoners, Ming now holds the whip hand over Flash and Baron. Flash leads a rescue party into Ming's palace by means of an abandoned tunnel and locates the room where Dale and Aura are held. Unaware that the room is protected by a death-dealing electrical trap, Flash, sword in hand, you wait out here. I'll go in alone. This may be a trap. Captain Torch reports that Flash Gordon and his comrades have rescued Dale Arden and Princess Aura and have fled with them. The gang of war, summon the guard and search for them. Watch the laboratory. They may attempt to release Dr. Zarkoff also. These prisoners are to be admitted and held in here. This is not a prison. This is an order. Are you going to obey? Yes, by placing you under arrest. <laughs> break down that door. And by that time, I shall have a better and more effective defense. We'll hide these guys somewhere and take their uniforms. Remain here on guard. I must report this to His Majesty. Tom, whom you knew, Baron, I've been a prisoner here for years. Finally discovered the source of the terrific power Ming controls. Tom confided the secret to you? Yes, the drug here. The power is derived from a strong beam of light, reflected from pure selenium, a new element, which gives the light great properties and permits it to be transformed into other forms of energy. Where does the light come from? Where all light and power originate, the sun. And it is this selenium that energizes the purple death dust, the great fire projectors, and all of Ming's weapons of death and destruction. Sire, the Earth Party with Baron and Aura have barricaded themselves in the laboratory. Surround the laboratory, but do not attack without an order for me. But, Sire, with our numbers, we can attack and conquer them. You, you! Don't you realize that with Dr. Zarkoff in possession of my laboratory, he is more powerful than I am in my own kingdom? Dr. Zarkoff is clever. No doubt, he has learned from Carms the secret of my sun power. And if we attack, he'll destroy us. No. He must be tricked into coming out. 
And I'll find the way. If we can control Ming's powerhouse, we can handle him. We can destroy him and his palace, but that would mean our death as well. It'd be worth it. We could save the universe by doing so. And now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov. My rocket ship is loaded with enough solarite to destroy the principal cities of the Earth on contact. It is in my space court now. We will send it if you do not surrender at once. I doubt very much that one ship can do so much damage. I have enough ships and solarite to destroy your entire Earth. If you knew the power of it, you would not hesitate to meet my terms. This is a serious matter. I must consult my associates. Very well. I'll give you five minutes. Kind of you. Don't you believe in Zarkov? He's going to double cross us. You mean he has no such ship as the rocket ship Zio? He has, he has, but he's going to send it against the Earth whether we surrender or not. I doubt very much if he has a powerful explosive solarite he speaks of. Ming scientists have for years been searching for an explosive powerful enough to destroy the Earth. I believe they have found it. And there's only one way out. And that is? Take Ming Zio's ship and destroy him with it. It all depends on whether you can control the defensive mechanism of the space court here. It can be done. Well, where will we be when you destroy Ming? In Darkhouse rocket ship. I'll take off in the solar right ship and head back toward the palace, then bail out. You ought to be able to pick me up. Then you'd better let me go with you. No, there's two of us sacrificing ourselves. Sarkov doesn't answer our signal, sir. I'll stay here and control the death rays that guard the entrance to the space court. It means your death? Ming killed my spirit when he destroyed my people. For years, I've been waiting for this chance to avenge them. I understand. Notify Captain Sudden to open the tunnel gates for us. I will. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. We'll never forget you, Professor. I fear the Earth people are up to something we know nothing of. I walk the motor so we'll be ready to leave the moment Dr. Zarkov arrives. Call it a Z ocean. You cannot enter the space court until I have signaled Dolph to turn off the death ray. Look! That was caused by the death ray, operated by Drunk. Hello. Yes. Turn off the death ray on number seven. They are off. He says the death rays are turned off on number seven. All clear flash. I'll circle with the Zeo ship until you take off and join me. Right. We'll keep in touch by radio. Good. I hope there's a parachute aboard. I'm sure there is. It's essential part of the equipment. Well, good luck, Flash. Thanks. Gordon has just entered the space court and taken off your solar art ship. Why didn't my guard stop him? The guards cannot enter the space court. The death ray has been turned on. Uh, it's the work of that clever fiend, Sarkov. He's at the controls in the laboratory. Dr. Sarkov. from the 
the Solarite ship. Gordon will not destroy his friends. Captain Torch speaking. Yes? Yes? I'll report. Sir, Dr. Zarkoff and the rest of the Earth people, including Prince Baron and Princess Aura, have escaped through the tunnel. They've taken off in their rocket ship. And Gordon will use the Solarite ship to destroy me. We must leave it once for the tower, use the auxiliary controls from there. Or the captain's student that have them turned on. We'll find him in the guard room. Captain Torch calling Captain Sudden. I can't get Captain Sudden, sire. You must. Our lives depend on it. Keep praying. Captain Torch, calling Captain Sudden. Sir, connect the controls in the tower room at once. I never thought it would ever be in my power to save Ming the Merciless or to destroy him. Then you will not connect the controls? No. Calling Captain Sudden in the guard control room. Hello? Is this drunk? Yes, this is drunk. Listen. Can you contact Zarkov? Yes, I can, Captain Sudden. Good. Tell him that Ming has gone to the tower control room. All right, I will. Drunk calling Dr. Zarkov. Calling Dr. Zarkov. Listen carefully. Ming has taken refuge in his tower control room. Tell Flash Gordon to head his solarite ship directly at the tower. I'll tell him. And that means you'll be saved, drunk. I know that. But it also means that we can place Prince Baron on the throne of Mongo. Now we can save others who should not suffer from Ming's misdeeds. Flash. Flash. Where is Dakov? Ming has gone to his tower control room. You know where it is? Yes. I'll head toward there instead of the palace. Good. Let us know when you're ready. Don't worry. I will. Doesn't answer, sire. We're doomed. Send a messenger to him. Well, there's no time for that. Our only chance is that Captain Sudden will connect the controls. Then we can expose the solar right ship while it's in the air. Captain Sudden, your emperor demands that you connect the controls of the tower room immediately. Well, why doesn't Flash bail out? He's close enough now. Not yet. He can't afford to miss. locked Ming and his retinue in the tower. Yes, and there's only one other way of escape for them. But they will be too terrified to think of it. All ready, Zakhoff. Cut the speed down as low as possible. ship will hit the tower. I'm sure it will. Watch the fireworks. Oh! Look! The Solarite ship is nearly upon us! To the caverns for your life! It's locked! Destroying Ming, you have saved the universe. In his mad ambition, Ming declared that he was the universe. Then, since you have conquered Ming, I shall radio your father. 
Flash Gordon conquers the universe. And saves the Earth. What's our course now, Flash? Straight for Aboria. And back home. <laughs>